In this video, I am going to discuss how to solve rational equations. We simply follow these five steps. First is to find the LCD of the given equation. And then second is to eliminate the denominator by multiplying both sides of the equation to the LCD. And then we simplify by performing the indicated operations. And then fourth, solve for the variables or for the unknown variables as is to check the obtained value by substituting to the original equation. Before we proceed, let us recall the least common denominator or LCD. This is the lowest value or expression that each terms in the denominator can divide. For number 1, we have 1 half, 1 third, and 1 sixth. For this item or for this given, our LCD is 6. That is because 6 can be divided by 2, 3, and 6. Now let's solve number 2. We have 1 fourth, 2 thirds, and 5 over 2. For this given, 4 cannot be divided by 3, 3 cannot be divided by 2. So we need to look for another value or another lowest value that each term can divide. And that is 12. For number 3, 1 over x and 2 over x plus 5. As you can see, we have two denominators that is x and x plus 5, wherein both of them cannot divide each other. So in this case, we will use x and x plus 5 as our LCD. Now for number 4, we have x squared and x. For this item or for this case, we choose the variable with highest degree as our LCD. So this is, for, so for this item we have x squared as our LCD. Then for number 5 we have 1 over 4x cubed and 3 over 8x squared. Okay, 8 cannot divide 4 while 4 can divide 8. So for numerical coefficient we have 8 and then for the variable, we are going to use x cubed. So we have 8x cubed. And then for number 6, we have 1 over x minus 2, x squared minus 5x plus 6, and x minus 3. So for this given, x squared minus 5x plus 6 have factors x minus 2 and x minus 3. Since this is the case, we can now use x squared minus 5x plus 6 as our LCD. Now let us solve this rational equation. x plus 1 over 2x is equal to 1. First step is to find the LCD. Since we have a single denominator, we use 2x as our LCD. So next step is to eliminate the denominator by multiplying both sides to the LCD. So we have 2x times x plus 1 over 2x is equal to 1 times 2x. So we have 2x times x plus 1 is equal to 2x times x plus 1 over 2x is equal to 1 times 2x that is 2x. Okay. 2x divided by 2x, that is equal to 1, so we can now eliminate this. So, what we have left now is x plus 1 is equal to 2x. So, transpose x on the other side of the equation, we have 2x minus x is equal to 1. 2x minus x, that is x, then equal to 1. So our obtained value is 1. Now, let us check by substituting to the original equation. We have x plus 1 over 2x is equal to 1. So we have 1 plus 1 over 2 times 1 is equal to 1. So 1 plus 1, that is 2, divided by 2 times 1, that is 2, is equal to 1. 2 divided by 2, that is 1 is equal to 1. Now, since both sides of the equation are equal, then we can have x is equal to 1 as our solution.
Let's have another example. We have 3 over 4 plus x minus 7 all over x plus 14 is equal to 0. So for our LCD, we have 4 times x plus 14. The second step is to eliminate the denominator by multiplying to the LCD. So we have 4 times x plus 14 multiplied to 3 over 4 plus x minus 7 over x plus 14 is equal to 0, 4 times x plus 14. Okay, multiply the LCD to each term. We have 4 times x plus 14 times 3 divided by 4 plus 4 times x plus 14 times x minus 7 divided by x plus 14 is equal to 0. So as you can see, we can eliminate 4 because 4 divided by 4 is 1 and then for this one, x plus 14 divided by x plus 14 that is also equal to 1. What we have left now is x times 3 that is 3x and then 14 times 3 that is 42 plus 4 times x that is 4x 4 times negative 7 that is negative 28 equals to 0. Okay, combine like terms now we have 3x plus 4x that is 7x then 42 minus 28 that is positive 14 is equal to 0. Then transpose for 14, we have 7x is equal to negative 14. So divide both sides by 7. So we have x is equal to negative 2. Okay, by checking, let's substitute. We have 3 over 4 plus negative 2 minus 7 over negative 2 plus 14 is equal to 0. We have 3 over 4 plus negative 9 over 12 is equal to 0. So find the lowest term. We have 3 over 4 plus negative 3 over 4 equals to 0. So for this given, 3 over 4 plus negative 3 over 4, that is 0, is equal to 0. So since both sides of the equation are equal, then our value of x is x is equal to negative 2. Okay, for our next given, we have x over x plus 3 plus 3 over x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 5 over x plus 4. For our LCD, we have x squared plus 7x plus 12 or its factor that is x plus 3 times x plus 4. Okay, now, let's eliminate the denominator by multiplying both sides to the LCD. We have x plus 3 times x plus 4 we multiply to x over x plus 3 plus 3 over x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 5 over x plus 4. Okay, we are going to multiply the LCD to each term. x plus 3 times x plus 4 times x over x plus 3 plus 3 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 over x squared plus 7x plus 12 is equal to 5 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 over x plus 4. So eliminate what can be eliminated. We have x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 that is equal to 1. 
eliminate them, x plus 3 times x plus 4 are factors of x squared plus 7x plus 12. So when we divide them, that is also equal to 1. So we can now eliminate. And then 5 times x plus 3 times x plus 4 over x plus 4. We can eliminate x plus 4. x plus 4 times x plus 3 is equal to 5 times x plus 3. Now, perform the indicated operations. We have x times x, that is x squared. 4 times x, that is 4x plus 3 is equal to 5 times x, that is 5x. Then 5 times 3 is equal to 15. Okay, we combine like terms. We have x squared plus 4x minus 5x plus 3 minus 15 is equal to 0. Okay, we have x squared, 4x minus 5x, that is negative x. Then, 3 minus 15, that is negative 12, is equal to 0. As you can see, we have obtained a quadratic equation. So, there's a lot of ways to solve quadratic equation. You may use quadratic formula or by factoring, graphing. So, we're going to use factoring. Okay, we're going to factor out x squared minus x minus 12 is equal to 0. To be able to factor out, okay, take a look at the constant. We have negative 12. So, find the numbers that when we multiply, the product will be negative 12. So, we can have 1 times negative 12 or negative 1 times 12, 2 times negative 6, or negative 2 times 6, and then 4 times negative 3, or negative 4 times 3. Then after that, we find the sum of each numbers. We have negative 11, 11, negative 4, 4, 1, and then negative 1. So, after getting the following numbers, or after getting the sum, okay, take a look at the linear term. Now, we're given we have negative x, that is negative 1. So, meaning to say, we are going to get this as our factor. We have x minus 4 times x plus 3 is equal to 0. Then we solve x minus 4 is equal to 0, that is x is equal to 4, and then x plus 3 is equal to 0, that is x is equal to negative 3. So our solutions now are 4 and negative 3. Always remember that in solving rational expressions, Eliminate the denominators by multiplying each term of the equation to the LCD. And then, note that we need to check because there are times that we may obtain a solution that is an extraneous solution. So that's all in solving rational expressions. I hope you have learned a lot from this video. Thank you.